anytime a woman shoots children, it's always autobiographical. And I don't think you can be an artist and have it not be autobiographical somehow. You are always drawing on your own experience. When the kids come over and we're doing a shoot, they sort of know they're not being themselves. You know, they're, they're playing a role. They're, they're little actors in part of this big scene. You know, inevitably, and it's film has got to be this way, there's a lot of unscripted moments where they are themselves, but it fits whatever I needed perfectly because it's natural and it's, and it's real. And, and so that way, I think it'll always be tied. My work is, you know, as different as it is from histo the history of photography and how those photographers worked, the decisive moment. I think there's still something about those unscripted moments that will forever tie it to the photography of the past. I love to be around kids and they make me laugh and be any artist at the end of the day is just what you're drawn to, what you love about your life and what you observe in other people's lives comes through. I'm pretty much shooting on a set. I've been years away from trying to shoot something and move it into something else. But, I mean, there is a lot of editing, so if one shoot lasts an hour, you know, it could be various takes that come together to make the final image. But, I mean, you know, there, there are real places. It's not digitally composed or whatever. I'm not, you know, I'm not Pixar. I don't, I can't just create this stuff on the computer. I've got to find it and do it. And if the light's right, it's got to be real light. I can't, you know, I'll supplement light or whatever, but it's, there's a lot more actually happening than I think people realize. I'm not a digital guru or in, by any means. Sometimes it's the darkest moments in the day that make you laugh the hardest the next day. Just the bizarre, you know, juxtaposition of things. You know, a spacey mother and a baby in danger or whatever. It's not funny at the time. I have to entertain myself. It would be no fun to make a work where everything's just perfectly, you know, where there's mom laying out in the grass and everything's happening perfectly and the kids are happy. Like, that would be no fun. So I have to, I have to make it fun. I have to throw in some dark elements. Art history and looking at those old paintings is kind of what made me inspired to even go this route and color work with the figures and the large vantage point. You know, there's just certain pieces that, you know, I've always loved. When you're working like I am, you're always making, like a writer's always making notes of maybe a certain line they could use. I'm always making visual notes, and there happens to be that little homegrown food store in that green and white awning. You know, I couldn't help but draw the reference. Oh my God, that looks like, that kind of reminds me of Baltus painting. And at 8 o'clock in the morning when the light was just especially beautiful. I thought, what if there's all these different elements of seeing uh, the guy that serves me coffee out on a smoke break one day, and it just kind of came together. But, you know, I, w I didn't know how it would come together until I was actually shooting it. I mean, if you think of, you know, Wes Anderson or any great filmmaker, I mean, in a visual sense, your actors, actresses, sure, they're important. Of course, they're even most important, but the set, and the light and the details all just to enhance the moment or your characters or what's going on. You've got your people doing what you want to do, but whatever's happened into the right of them or behind them or in front of them, that's equally important, you know? If not even just to take a supportive role to that focus. I think people love to discover things. I mean, I know that I do, like, oh, look at the free box with the kittens, you know? I mean, I just, where you recognize something familiar. I grew up with my mom having garage sales and there was always a free box. And we were always traumatized by what was, she'd set out to sell because we'd instantly decide that we liked it. You try to create something like, what would I want to look at if I were someone else? And I, the details are very important. I think it's kind of the um, responsibility of any artist to say something about the times and culture they're a part of. So parenting today and the expectations of us and the expectations we put on our kids, you know, all of that figures into suburbia. I mean, you think of suburbia as more of the landscape, 
but all of that has to come together and work together. So when I think of suburbia, I think of what's going on in contemporary American life, not necessarily the new house out in the suburbs that's just been built in the subdivision. Just in terms of contemporary American life, especially families with young children, that's suburbia just happens to be one of many backdrops. I think the composition is important, kind of like the suburban backdrop or the details. You've got to make it visually strong if you want the piece overall to be strong, but I don't think that's what inspires me to do the piece. It is more like this could be a beautiful piece, these kids swimming in the stock tank with the sun being overhead. Composition is an element of that, but it's, it's not everything. And I know a lot of work, artists work just compositionally. There's got to be a little something more for me to want to get up and uh, risk my life in one of those bucket lifts. <laughs> <laughs>